How's it going everyone? This time we talk about sharing calendar reminders on your iPhone. How can you go ahead and do that? Well, there are some things you should know about because there are two main options for sharing the calendar stuff with another person. The first one is sharing an entire calendar or the second is sharing a specific event. Now, if I open up the calendar, you can see many different things. I'm in the week view. I have one event, which is called event. And the thing is that I can either share that or the entire calendar, as I said. And you probably mean or want to say calendar reminders, but calendar reminder is basically the alert on an event. So what we want to do is to share just the event. So it's impossible to share a reminder without that event. So that's how it works. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. Anyways, to share an entire calendar, you need to access the Apple Calendar app, as you can see right here, and tap on the calendars button at the bottom right here. So tap on that. And you can see a bunch of different calendars. I have one. You have other like US holidays, series suggestions. Anyways, you want to click on the I, the information button next to it. Tap on that. And in here, what you can do is to add a person in here. So right now you can search through your contacts or add anyone who uses iCloud and that other person will have the option to see the actual calendar that you have in here. So that's just how it works. Or if you don't want to add specific people in here, what you can do is to create a public calendar. You can see it like this, you enable it. And after this is complete, after you end up with a public calendar, what you're going to be able to do then is allow anyone to subscribe to read only version of this calendar. So anyone can go ahead and check out what you do, but they cannot modify or s change any other events. They can see, however, what you are up to, but you, they cannot really change anything or do anything about it. So this is possible as well. However, the next thing what you can do is to just invite other people to just one event. And this is very useful, of course, because if I come back to the week view and tap on my event, I can edit it. And besides adding the name, location or whatever, I can change like different things, but I can also add invitees. That is, again, the people that you want to be part of that event. And I can add those from my contact list and I can have access to their iCloud. So it also can show up in a, their email uh, or in the, their calendar. So that's useful. You can add and search through people in here. That's how it works. You can type in the email address. You either type in, you know, you can see email address or you tap on the plus and you can scroll through the contacts which are saved on your iPhone. So these are all of the ways how you can share a calendar or share calendar reminder slash events on an iPhone. I hope this video was useful for you. If you found it valuable, make sure to leave a thumbs up on it. Make sure to subscribe to the Fox Tech so you don't miss future videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.